I just go back to one thing the family said to us, Chris, that I don't know that I will very quickly forget that Suzanne uh, was educated. She taught school for a short time and then she she uh, stepped into being a, a mom and a stay-at-home mom and uh, and she liked that lifestyle, it sounds like. I, the family spoke that she felt a little bit isolated where she was living. That that makes sense going from a place where you have lots of your friends around you to all of a sudden being more isolated. But this is the thing that I don't think I'll forget very quickly. And, and why it's so important on a show like this that we help people remember who this is. And I believe the perpetrators watching uh, tonight, the person responsible for this, um, that we remember this amazing person and the thing I remember from the family was that she was a sweet and docile child. She was like her mother, very sweet and kind, not aggressive at all. You would have loved her to pieces if you talked to this woman. And we heard that from others like the fire chief who mentioned it in articles that we read. But, but this is a family that grew up in a house that didn't cuss. That's a term my family used when I was growing up. You don't cuss. Yeah, that, that really st struck me strongly, and, uh, and and then the fact that uh, one of the family members said how oh how we loved playing hide and seek, and that little girl loved Sesame Street. Now, this is a 49, 50 year old woman, and those are the things that family members are remembering you you tell me about the victimology chris mike i mean you, you nailed it she, she's she's um, a woman who is a fighter she got um, a rare type of lymphoma at 17 or 18 years old and this chemotherapy was so harsh they told us that she lost all of her hair the doctors told her she wouldn't be able to have children. Now, now imagine how Mother's Day is to this woman. When you're 17 or 18 and the doctors say, you will not have children. 